Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Frances and today I'm coming to you with another pin related video and proof that I don't just wear Muppet shirts all of the time. I own other clothing other than Muppet clothing. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Frances. I do a lot of pin related videos. Uh, if you're not, you know I've been doing a lot of, I bought another collection of pins so you don't have to. Today we're testing Facebook Marketplace. So Sometimes I buy them off of Facebook groups, sometimes I buy them off of Poshmark, sometimes I find them in antique stores. Today we are testing a Facebook Marketplace pickup. So this person had a mutual friend and agreed to pay, um, agreed to let me pick up pins um, in a local place nearby, so I just did that this morning. I have 16 pins to share with you guys, a smaller collection, but they didn't tell me this when they posted it. Almost every single pin in here is an artist proof pin, which makes me feel like I underpaid a little bit. I feel a little bit bad, but <laughs> let me show you the 16 pins that I ended up picking up today. So first one is an annual pass holder artist proof pin. Um, I forgot what year this is from. This is limited edition of 2,500 and this is from 2013. So the Magic Kingdom one. Animal Kingdom version from that set also has the artist proof stamp on it. I think I have that entire set, so let me just show them all. Where did them go? I thought I had all of them. Maybe not. Okay, maybe I didn't have Hollywood Studios. Epcot also artist proof. Uh, the Walt Disney World one also artist proof. We have this Epcot Figment pin, also has the AP stamp in it. This pass holder Little Mermaid pin, which also has an AP stamp on it. This 2013 Flower and Garden Donald's Hopiary pin, which is limited edition of 2000, that also has an AP stamp on it. This Very Merry Christmas Party um, 2016 pin looks like that. Limited edition of 5,000 and also has the stamp. Sometimes you have to move the back, uh, the, the pin backs because they're hiding. Uh, this Angel Magic Kingdom, again, another pass holder pin. Is this the one that doesn't have an AP on it? Nope, it's sitting in the corner. That one. This goofy flower and garden pin from 2015 that I thought was AP as well. Yeah, it's in the corner. AP as well. This one I think was the coolest one in here. This is a Pixar 30th anniversary limited edition of 500 artist proof pin of Flick. I feel like you don't see a lot of Bugs Life pins. And this element moves, so I thought this was really cool because it was limited edition of 500 and artist proof. Um, this animal came, or <laughs> flower and garden pin from 2014 featuring Rafiki that's limited edition of 3000, also artist proof. Uh, this Olaf Very Merry Christmas Party from 2014, also artist proof and limited edition of 2000. This Mini Mouse Hollywood Studios pass holder pin that's limited edition of, I think that's a three. Yeah, that's a 3000 and does have the artist proof stamp in it. This, this is the one that I believe is the only one that's not artist proof. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean pin from, I believe, a Disneyland pass holder collection. Yeah, and just double checking when I looked at this initially, I didn't see it. I'm still not seeing it, so I don't think, ugh, this is artist proof. And then last but not least, this Epcot Food and Wine uh, Festival 2016 pin that features figment and it turns... I have the pin backers on so you can't see it. This one is limited release and also features the AP in the corner. 
So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 pins in that set. Small little set, small little pickup, but it was nice. I have to go back at the Facebook listing. I don't think she said that they were artist proof, which she might not have known. Um, but super cool little collection. I was able to pick up. Super happy that I found artist proof pins. I think I'm going to keep the three figment pins and then the other ones are going to be up for grabs. Um, caveat with Facebook marketplace. And I feel like this is across the board. It doesn't have to be related with pins. If you don't feel comfortable, go to a public place to do the pickup and whatnot. Most of the time when I'm selling stuff, I have people come to my house because I live in a gated community with security. So I have no problem giving my address because the security guard has to call me for them to come. So if they try to come again, I just say no. Um, but she wanted to be in a public place, which was fine check photos negotiate make sure you do every that she wanted digital payment which was surprising a lot of people would like cash but i stood there and did venmo payment right in front of her so no problem i think it's because we had a mutual friend um so i think that's what made both of us a little bit more at ease but make sure your guard is a little bit up on facebook marketplace just because it's not like an ebay or a poshmark or a murakari where you can go back and be like I got fake pins or I got cheated or all of that type of stuff like I've done in the past with Poshmark when I've gotten fake pins you know I just report it immediately and be like the seller is selling fake pins um just be a little bit more cautious photos are always so hard to tell with scrappers and whatnot I am so much better at telling things they're fake when they're in my hand versus on a photo so you have to take that with a grain of salt but I think I got super lucky with this pin pickup, um, so I cannot complain at all. So Facebook Marketplace right now gets glowing reviews from me as a place to buy pins, but that could change tomorrow. I could have a really grabby experience tomorrow. Let me know down below what your favorite pin was from this collection that I picked up or if we're pin twins. And again, if you're interested in trading or purchasing any of these, you can reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram is at dreamfindingwithfrancis. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It is a great way to support my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of content like this to help you guys find great ways to find cool pins. Um, if you're not already, hit that bell icon so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe, and I'll see you in the next one. And you never know what kind of figment you may come up with. Oh, here's my favorite.